Storm Track 12 with you. Alan Cislesto with you here on our Thursday. The heat is being broken that we've been enjoying the last couple of days. In fact, yesterday we topped out at 93 degrees in New Bern. That actually tied the record high for yesterday set back in 2004. Not going to be talking about record high temperatures here over the next couple of days. In fact, I'm talking about a wide range in temperatures for the day today. Low 80s across the south, upper 60s and low 70s across the northern counties. Also a wide range as far as storm coverage is concerned today where we get the warmer temperatures. That's where we're also going to get the storms. Bit of a cool down comes in here as we head on in through the next couple days, but we'll warm things right back up again once we get past the weekend. But I tell you what, it is going to be a great weekend in store for us here weather-wise. As we head on through the day today, scattered showers and storms, some of which could have some heavy downpours with them, especially across Duplin County, Onslow County. Same thing for Carteret, Craven County, Jones County is possible for some of the heavier storms to be there. Main threat is going to be from the flooding rainfall because we're going to be looking at very slow storm motion with these systems that do develop. Not a whole lot of push in the atmosphere to get these things going. Also, the potential is there for some damaging wind gusts. Maybe some small hail, but that's not the greatest threat I'm focusing on. It's the heavy rainfall and that I think is going to be the great threat for us here. <coughs> Excuse me. As we head through the day tomorrow, uh, some showers and storms in the early morning hours, but no real severe weather threats to alert you to. And then uh, I guess Saturday, uh, I guess I should have put, put the sunblock on because we'll have lots of sunshine in here as we head on through the day on Saturday. So scattered showers and storms, mainly cloudy skies around the area. Again, a wide range of temperatures thanks to the east-northeasterly winds. Overnight tonight could be a scattered shower or two around, especially across the Albemarle Sound counties, but not really anticipating much in the way of storminess. Talking about temps into the mid-60s for overnight lows tonight. And then for the day tomorrow, upper 70s to low 80. That's about it. Showers and storms around for the morning hours, especially south of the Kings Lake River and Oriental Line. And then we do clear things out from the north and south as we go on through the afternoon hours tomorrow. So here's how we break things down. We're watching the warmth from yesterday in the last couple days get put shoved to the south. As a result of the cooler air coming in across the northern mid-Atlantic states, in fact, look at Boston into the 50s this morning, and there's a lot of cool air across southern Canada, and that cooler air is being forced southbound because of the way the jet stream is configured right now. We're kind of stuck in between two systems right now. We've got a, a big upper-level low sitting and spinning down here across the lower Mississippi Valley, but you also notice the northern branch of the jet stream showing up here uh, coming out of Canada. So remember all that cool air that was sitting here? Yeah, that's getting sent southbound into us here in eastern Carolina. Now, the northern branch of the jet stream, that actually becomes the dominant feature for us here going into this weekend here for the next couple days. It does two things. One, this upper level low that was sitting back here in the Mississippi Valley, it actually, actually sends it back into Texas and starts to allow an upper level ridge to develop here coming across uh, the southern Great Lakes and towards the Ohio Valley. But also there's confluent flow here at the low levels. So that means we've got this high pressure centered right in here across the northern and Atlantic states. Front side of that high at the surface, that means we've got north, northeasterly surface winds bringing that cooler air in with it. And you'll notice even going into Saturday, we're still tracking that trough here just off the east coast. So we've got these little pockets of cold air that are going to rotate around the back side of this running to the edge of the ridge. We call them ridge runners here because the upper level ridge sitting back out here over the Tennessee Valley. And as a result, we're going to see cooler than normal temperatures in here for a couple days. But eventually, we get that trough off the east coast. High level ridge starts to build back in here. And that's going to bring the heat back in here as we do head on into next week. So this is, again, what it looks like at the surface. Low pressure going across the uh, southern Pennsylvania region, the Mason-Dixon line there, surface high pressure across the western Great Lakes. Northeasterly wind, remember Boston only into the 50s this morning, that's where that cooler air is coming from as that front continues to push southbound across the area. It's because of the cooler air coming in at the low levels of the atmosphere that's trying to remove that warm humid air mass we've had in place, that's what's causing the cloud cover around for the day today. Cold air is heavy, it's dense, it sinks down to the ground, so it forces rising motion, condensation, and that gets the storminess going as we head on in through the afternoon hours today. So you'll notice future track. Further south and west you are, a little bit more sunshine we see for this morning, but that's also the same place we see some of the stronger storms develop this afternoon after about 4 or 5, 6 o'clock this evening. Showers and thunderstorms, Duplin County, and back into southern Lenore County, Craven, Jones County.
those will be around with those northeasterly winds protecting places like the Albemarle Sound counties just because it's going to be so cool and relatively stable there. Again, maybe a spotty shower possible overnight tonight. You'll notice one last little pocket of cold air coming through in the heat of the day tomorrow. Gives us some showers and storms, especially across the southern counties tomorrow afternoon. But by sunset, we're already starting to clear out from north to south across the area with those northeasterly winds helping bring that drier air in as that high pressure comes down across the Great Lakes. Sets over us for Saturday. And eventually by Sunday, it gets off the coast here with more of a southwesterly wind picking up for early next week. But with that high pressure large and in charge, during the day on Saturday, it creates sinking motion in the atmosphere, not a cloud to be seen in the sky, and again, lots of sunshine around. Now, depending on where those storms form, you'll notice the further south and west you go, like Kenansville, Richlands, Jacksonville, could be looking at a half an inch to maybe an inch of rainfall possible today with very little amounts as you go further off to the north and the east. That's because that's where the more stable air is coming in on that northeasterly flow. That's also, though, where the cooler temperatures are going to be. Again, southern counties, Talking about temps peaking into the low 80s there, while northeastern counties like Terrell, High, Dare, Washington, we're stuck in the low to mid 70s for the day today. Overnight tonight, still kind of muggy and mild out there. We'll look for temperatures into the mid 60s, and then you'll notice tomorrow temperatures with that sunshine eventually coming late in the day, peak up to that uh, low 80 degree mark for afternoon highs tomorrow. But uh, again, it is going to be cloud cover around for the first part of tomorrow, and then eventually clearing out late in the day. And that's what the future planning forecast does show here. Temps into the low seasonal 80s for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, still looking fairly nice. By Tuesday, though, that upper level ridge we talked about, that starts to move over us. Southwesterly winds kick in, and we've got temperatures back up near that 90 degree mark. Have yourself a good Thursday. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm Storm Track 12 Meteorologist, Les Hill.